Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are using this infamous Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, which I have had sitting since I bought it over a week ago, and I'm ready to use it. So let's do it. You can also use this technique to clean up your brows if you made a mistake. Um, first thing we're gonna do after we put the concealer on is we are going to use a little buffer brush set that concealer or else it will crease. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Translucent. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna buff that all over the eyelid like this. Okay. So here are the colors, oh, it's so beautiful. I have her first one, I have the vault, and I love them all. So we're gonna take a, let's see, just a fluffy shader brush. This is the Morphe M441, okay? You can get these at Ulta or on morphe.com. No, I'm not sponsored, I wish Let's I was. Let's just go in with a really nice transition shade. This shade right here, Perfectionist, because <laughs> that's what I am. Start, I want you to look down into your mirror. Full eyelid, I'm gonna start in the outer corner and press that color right in there. And then we're gonna go little windshield wiper motions back and forth. Again, this is our transition shade, so we're gonna put this all over our lid. Okay, so we're gonna grab a Morphe M443 M433, sorry. And we are gonna go in, I am gonna take, I'm gonna take this color right here, it's called G Money. Okay, I kinda feel like I think I know what I'm gonna do now. I had no like ideas when I was coming into this. We're gonna take that same technique here, we're gonna stamp that color and we're gonna focus it more on this outer corner here. Really get that color blended. Get it blended, I'm going to carefully bring it over. You don't want to go too high up, keeping it on that bone right there. and then gently blend it into the middle. The color, feeling myself, it's like this orangey color. Let me just see what this looks like on. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna keep this down lower. That's pretty. want that color to just like barely mingle with that G money. Now I'm gonna go in with this tiny little shader brush. This is the M506 and I am going to take that yellow, the matte yellow. It's called No Joke. It's like the same color as these clips. I'm tap that off really good and then we're gonna go in with this kind of in the middle of the eyelid. And we're gonna blend. And now I'm gonna go back with the first brush that I used for the transition shade and with no extra product on it and I'm just going to smooth this out. I'm gonna grab, this is a crown brush. It's just like an eyeshadow blender. They don't have numbers on theirs. And I'm gonna pick a, <clears throat> 
I'm gonna pick up this um, matte like candy apple. It's called Heart On. Get your heart on. It's really pigmented. And I am going to blend that like on the outside, so kind of just um, meddling ooh, these colors together. So I'm not like rubbing this around, I'm just patting it in the outer corner. Next, I am going to take the, let's see, let's just go for Talia. It's a pressed pigment. Let's see if I can do this right here. I'm just gonna barely like put that in the center. I just want it to really highlight that yellow. And I'm just using my finger for this part. Now I'm gonna grab the brush that has that orangey color, the fill in myself, and I'm going to bring that. I wanna make sure I don't get the glitter like everywhere. All right, now I'm gonna grab my winged liner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. It's got like a really nice felt tip like this. And I'm gonna take this on the top of my eye and I'm gonna start in the very inner corner looking down. I'm just gonna stamp that all the way out here. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna reverse and I'm gonna stamp it where I want my wing to go. Like that, and it's okay if you mess up a little bit. We don't have foundation on so we can clean it up. And then now I'm gonna connect. So you get this really nice, small wing. The same thing, other eye. Then what I like to do is I like to go in and clean this up with a makeup wipe and then I'm going to put mascara on. I'm going to do my face and then we will be back. Okay guys, so I did my face, my lips, everything else. False lashes are on. I'm going to go back with the first brush that I started with with that transition shade, Perfectionist. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to just take that on the under part of my eye. So what I want is just to really connect that color, that G Money shade. And I'm gonna stamp that along the bottom of my eye. And with nothing, no new product, I'm just going to Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Um, I really love how it turned out. I put some just really cheap false lashes on the top and did some more liner. 